Hi everybody, it's December 22nd, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article to me, Ultrafast 5G Wireless Service Declared National Security Priority by the White House. Don't understand why people still believe that Trump is going to save the day. He's an advocate for the telecommunications industry. He's advocating for a very secure but fast deployment of 5G and he is pro geoengineering. So when you look at hmm, the saturation of microwave frequencies, the deployment of 5G, these millimeter wave frequencies, and geoengineering, the chemtrail spraying, those two alone, very successful in killing off life. So what is this guy going to be saving? Not us. So the White House released its congressionally mandated national security strategy report, which you can get to by clicking on this link. And tucked away in that report is a section on improving America's infrastructure. We will improve America's digital infrastructure by deploying a secure 5G internet capability nationwide. Other than natural gas, 5G wireless service was the only area of technology to get a specific calling out for infrastructure. 5G wireless, it's not a specific technology per se, but rather a set of standards? Really? What are the standards? A couple of years ago, our former FCC commissioner came right out and said, we're not going to study it. We're not going to regulate it. We're just going to roll it out because there's billions of dollars involved. Billions of dollars. Not going to study it? Well, I have several videos on 5G. I'm not going to get into it. If you want to check them out, go to my channel, hit the search icon, put in 5G, and they will come up. This is not for faster service. Please, this technology interoperates in the millimeter wave spectrum. To meet the needs of users today, who are those users? Whose needs are going to be met? Our military, our government. Millimeter wave. High definition surveillance. Small cells all over on buildings, on lampposts, outside your home. And what will they do? Well, they penetrate right through your skin. We'll see an exponential increase in skin cancer. But everything you have in your home, everything you have on your person, Everything that you're carrying in a bag, briefcase, pocketbook, the millimeter wave will pick up. And if you are concealed carrying a gun, even if it's plastic, millimeter wave will pick it up. So you're walking down the street, concealed carry, millimeter wave picks it up, boom, that data goes right to a fusion center. You're a suspect. And suddenly, the police come and grab you? Is that really an unlikely scenario? No, it's not. But for all of us who, who are hypersensitive to the frequencies already, I think we're just going to be keeling over once it's fully deployed and up and running. All of you who are asymptomatic, guarantee that many of you will cross over into symptomatic. More and more people will come down with cancer. More and more people will struggle with a whole range of medical issues, chronic physical pain. That has already happened with the microwave frequencies. So that's what we have to look forward to. It's a national security priority. Do you know about 
this guy, John Trump? Many of you probably do. I will tell you, I only recently found out about John Trump, Donald's uncle. He was a brilliant MIT scientist who was at MIT for decades. He designed one of the first million volt x-ray generators. He developed radar equipment during World War II and after the war, well during the war, during World War II, Trump served as a member of the steering committee overseeing the United States Government Research Laboratory, the Radiation Laboratory, which was located on the MIT campus, uh, Division 14 of the National Defense Research Committee, and this laboratory was responsible for research and production of radar systems. Now, he also worked with the British branch of the Radiation Laboratory. And an article that I read a couple of weeks ago, well, that's a branch that needs some research. I think that they were doing some shady things during World War II. After the war, he co-founded with Robert Van de Graaff and Dennis Robinson the High Voltage Engineering Corporation to manufacture generators for use in nuclear research, industrial processing, uh, radio, radiography, and medicine. He directed the High Voltage Research Laboratory on the MIT campus from 1946 to 1980. That is a very long tenure. He, Donald Trump's uncle, he was the guy that inspected Nikola Tesla's papers. After the inventor's death? No, after the inventor's murder. The FBI went in, got rid of his body, and who came in? to inspect the papers. None other than John Trump, Donald Trump's uncle. And they, it's really quite fascinating what John Trump said about Tesla's papers. He said, well, what, he, what this article says, Professor Trump doused speculation that Tesla was working on something big. Right. Tesla is well known for his interest in time travel, and therein a conspiracy theory was born. Wow. So Tesla, I guess, wasn't so brilliant, right? Wrong. Um... This is what John Trump actually said about Tesla's papers. Trump concluded that Tesla's thoughts and efforts during at least the past 15 years were primarily of a speculative, philosophical, and somewhat promotional character, but did not include new, sound, workable principles or methods for realizing such results. So, there was the official dismissal of the significance of the papers Tesla left behind, or the papers that our government stole and put right into the hands of John Trump. Amazing. Yes, as if the government would be willing to admit that it found plans for, hmm, let's say the death ray that Tesla was working on in the last years of his life. This is what Donald Trump had to say about his uncle. Now, in another article, either the New York Times or the New Yorker, Donald Trump is quoted as saying, 
My uncle was brilliant. He was brilliant. He was brilliant. And I come from a brilliant gene pool. Really smart. Really smart. Don't you love how these narcissists, they, they, there's no shame. They just praise themselves in the most glowing of words. It's remarkable. But Donald Trump said about John Trump, my uncle used to tell me about nuclear before nuclear was nuclear. And he also said that his uncle would tell Trump many years ago about the power of weapons someday that the destructive force of these weapons would be so massive that it's going to be a scary world. And guess what? John Trump lied about Tesla's papers. He saw Tesla's papers. He saw the work of Tesla's that you put that work together, you put these frequencies together, and you could wield a destructive force that will turn our world into a very scary place. So, when you have a little bit of information about Donald's lineage, and Donald clearly was very fond of his uncle, and Donald and his uncle had conversations about his uncle's work. And then you see that the White House has declared the deployment of 5G wireless a national security priority. That ain't for your fast download, Americans. It's to use the millimeter wave as a weapon against Americans because the 5G wireless is needed for the Internet of Things when everything will be interoperating everything all links are below